Hello learners. Welcome to the channel Be a Learner. Today in this session I'm going to explain about the different verb forms. We have heard about the verb. What is verb? An action word which describes the action. For example, run, laugh, eat. This all are the actions. So, in grammatical language it is known as verb. Now, let us understand what are the different verb form. So, there are six types of verb form. The first one is base form. Second is S and ES form. The third one is ING form. The fourth one is past participle. The fifth one is past form. And the sixth one is future form. Now, you might have heard these types of forms somewhere. Let us understand in detail what are these forms and why it is used and where it is used. Let us begin. So, the first one is base form. Base form is also known as a general form. Means a general form of a verb. Like a basic form. There is no addition in that as it is, it is used. It is used at many different places. Let us understand first what is a base form. Walk, talk, laugh, eat, smile, bring, run, write, learn and swim. This is a base form of verb. For example, I like to walk. I like to talk. She likes to laugh. He likes to eat. So whenever we are speaking general things about anyone or about us, that time we are using the base form. I hope everyone has understood the base form. So please you write two examples of base form in the comment box. I am waiting. The second form is S and ES form. S and ES form is not at all difficult. Just you have to add S or ES after the base verb. Now, we can't add this anywhere. We have to think and add. Let us see some examples. Walks. What was the base form of walks? Walk. She walks fast. He walks fast. She runs quickly. He catches perfectly. Now, catches. It is a ES form of verb laughs, writes. Write is a base form whereas writes is the ES form of verb, talks and smiles. So this was all about the S and ES form. I will make one more video where you will understand perfectly where to use this S and ES form. That is a completely different topic. Now we will study the third form that is ing form of verb this is also very simple ing form means we have to add the word ing in the base form like for example laughing smiling eating talking this ing form tells us that the action is still going on like she is laughing means still she is laughing he is running I am talking, we are eating, they are swimming, you are laughing, yes, she is smiling. So, this is ing form of verb, which express that the action is still going on. I hope you have understood the ing form of word. So, you write two examples in the comment box. I am waiting. Next, we are going to study about the past participle. Now, past participle is a form of verb that is used when the action is just completed. Like, I have written few notes. She has taken her dinner. I have given my notes to the teacher. Let us understand more example. Eaten, ran, done, driven, beaten, broken, flown and drawn. So, past participle form this action tells that the action is just completed we have spoken to her okay 
If you have understood the past participle, write down two examples in the comment box. I am waiting. Next, second last form that is a past form of verb. Now, don't get confused between past participle and past form. Past participle tells that the action is just completed and that's why we are using has or have with it. Whereas, past form tells us that the action is completed long time ago in the past for example ran woke ate slept wrote gave smiled threw now one more important thing sometimes the word which is used in past form and past participle is same i again repeat sometime not every time i'll give you an example smile she smiled she had smiled now see the word smile it is used as same in both the places past participle as well as past form whereas let us take example of give in past participle it will be given whereas in past form it will be gave same for write in past participle it will be written and in the past form it will be wrote so some words are written differently in past participle and past form some words are written as same we will study more about the past form in detail in our next upcoming video i hope you have understood what is the past form of the verb now let us go to the last form that is a future form this is very simple because you have to just use the word will and the base form now where is future form used it is used to tell the action which is going to happen i will read your comments i will talk to you i will eat pizza in the evening i will run tomorrow after reading your comments i will smile so this words are nothing but the future form which express the action is going to happen and what you have to remember in the future form will plus base verb which we had studied earlier the first type was base verb here just you have to add the word will i hope you have understood all the verb form i'm waiting for your comments if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thanks for watching have a beautiful day Bye and take care.